Hi guys, this is Barbara with Quartz Rose Tarot. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you're notified when I upload new content. Capricorn, you've been dealing with somebody for a long, actually you've been in a relationship for a long time and you've been kind of cold as ice in this situation. And your energy was apologizing for a broken heart or, or communicating about a broken heart. I feel like you keep coming in, in as a king of swords in this reading because I feel like the energy, you know, not only did you betray this person, but you were very cold in the relationship while you were doing it. And now you realize where your happiness lies and you're trying to do everything in your power to get back to this person. But this person's working on walking away. So stick around. Let's see where this goes. Capricorn, let's get into your energy. Then we'll get into the energy of all 12 signs. And then we'll get into your spread and I'll get you some clarity. So with that, Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, Clarity and Guidance. We have uh, someone speaking a truth about a broken heart. We have somebody speaking the truth about a broken heart. Okay. Let's get into the energy. Give me the energy of all 12 signs around Capricorn, starting with Aries. You're dealing with an Aries. Somebody was juggling a relationship. If you're dealing with a Taurus, someone feels trapped in an ending. If you're dealing with a Gemini, someone's manifesting a King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. If you're dealing with a Cancer, oh, somebody is wanting um, to reconcile and offer their love. If you're dealing with a Leo, Leo is rushing towards somebody to speak. Somebody's guarded about somebody rushing towards them speaking a truth. If you're dealing with a Virgo, I feel like a choice has caused a tower moment. If you're dealing with a, Li a Libra, um, someone is out in the cold because of a new passionate beginning. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, a deceptive illusion, someone's doing magic. Scorpio, that's come up with you twice in these, in these readings. <laughs> Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. Okay, so I feel like with um, Sagittarius, there is a lot of strife, jealousy, and competition, but it makes somebody happy to put somebody in a competition, to have all this competition. I feel like this is smug energy for some reason. Like this person is very happy that there's a lot of strife, jealousy, and competition. I feel like their ego's inflated. It's what I'm feeling. Ego's inflated with Sagittarius on this one. If you're dealing with another Capricorn, uh, someone needs the strength for a victory. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, I feel like uh, emotional communication about a new beginning. And if you're dealing with a Pisces, Pisces is not, they've made a decision to not speak to you anymore. Just that simple. Capricorn, they're not speaking if you're dealing with a Pisces. So, the truth about a broken heart. Someone's going to speak the truth about why they broke your heart, or this is your energy. You may be speaking a truth about why you broke somebody's heart. So, let's get into this Capricorn and find out what's going on. Holy Spirit, Angel, Spirits and Guides, Clarity and Guidance for Capricorn. What does Capricorn need to know, please? Capricorn, there's something hidden. So not speaking about justice, so hiding justice, um, something that's hidden. It's causing a tower moment because of a betrayal. Very guarded and defensive. Wanting to apologize, that offer or an apology. Somebody's unhappy here, getting clarity and that makes them very unhappy and it's causing an ending because of a third party in a family situation or working with working with a family situation pre-empress energy so ending this person's ending working on a family situation and they're going to be single and abundant that's what this is the emperor's needing strength to close out a cycle, to end something, to start something new. Being very strategic for a long time, not showing emotion to somebody from the past. So someone was kind of cold and kind of a bit of an ass, 
Um, I have to say that with that um, um, King of Swords energy uh, for a long time towards somebody from the past. Now you can't you can't treat somebody a certain kind of way and expect somebody not to want to walk once they find out the truth in the situation. So Holy Spirit, Angel, Spirits and Guides, Clarity and Guidance for Capricorn. Okay, so what's hidden here? Okay, so they're hiding their emotions here. They do want to heal the situation, but they're hiding their emotions. I'm wanting justice for a long time. So this could have been the person that you were dealing with. Because I feel like you were speaking the truth about a broken heart. Oh, it could go either way at this point. So let's just see who the pre-empress is here. And it caused a tower moment. Because somebody's very cold. This person's very cold. The energy was very cold. The tower moment is with this king of swords. Because they betrayed. Well, you can't make this up, right? Because the only two people on the board here are the king of swords and the pre-empress. Right? So the tower moment is with the king of, of uh, swords here. The king of swords, I feel like, is Capricorn's energy because they betrayed their pre empress. Someone's very guarded and defensive, wanting a victory and apologizing for the deception. They're apologizing for their deception. But someone's feeling very trapped in their head, very unhappy. But they've gotten the clarity about the third party. And it's caused an ending because of a choice between two for working on working on a family situation somebody's very up in their head sleepless nights on whether or not they will i feel like this person doesn't want to there's an ending because of a choice and someone's feeling like working is going working on this will cause them anxiety so a family situation to reconcile i feel like they won't do it pre empress working what are they working on they're working on their ending they're working on ending it. They don't care. This person's not coming back. There's, they're not. This person thinking in their head, should I reconcile this relationship? And the answer to that is no. They're working on ending it. And the strength for this emperor to close out the cycle, uh, to end something, to start something new in a relationship that needs to heal. Looking back at the past mistakes with the Queen of Pentacles, okay? This is. Um, and and in this in this instance, this Queen of Pentacles is representing the the pre empress. So Capricorn, this could be you or you could be the emperor. It could go either way here. But I feel like this Queen of Pentacles is kind of representing a wife or a family, you know, somebody that this person was with for a long time. Because this person was cold as ice for the longest time with somebody with their from their past. Now they want to offer their love and it's causing a tower moment. King of Pentacles. See, there's Capricorn right there. I feel like this is the king of, of uh, the emperor here, the king of swords. Because of something long-term and committed, they need to apologize. Again, again, they want to offer emotional communication about this family situation and apologizing, seeing something differently now because they're left out in the cold. They see something different because they've been left out in the cold. It took you to walk away from them or them to walk away from you for you to open up and see the error of your ways kind of thing. You know, because even if there's not a third party involved, and in this case, I feel like there was. Um, but more than that, it wasn't just that there was a third party. It was that there's a lot of cold, heartless energy. There was no there was no love in that situation. And you made it you made it perfectly clear with this King of Swords twice that there's no love there. There's just there's just coldness, um, emptiness there, it's just thoughts and strategic. Numbing, a numbing feeling. They're saying refocus. Refocus, looking back at the past and recognize what you had when you had it. You know, sometimes you needed to ascend, and the females ascended. So the divine feminine has ascended, but be patient. Because your ego has gotten in the way. Your ego has caused this problem. With that king of swords, that was nothing but ego. So just because you, you, you uh, apologize for the deception, you know, you're not 
going back and looking at how, how you treated the person during that time. Do all things in moderation. Be decisive. Shine your light. I feel like that don't go overboard is what they're trying to tell you. Shine your light, but when you shine your light, I just heard don't dim somebody else's. Don't try to dim somebody else's. You want a new beginning and you want forgiveness from this feminine, okay? You do, because there is passion there. There is passion deep down, but you need strength to reconcile this. You do need strength to reconcile this. And I, I think you got your hands full. I really do, Capricorn. I feel like you got your hands full. And uh, see where it goes with that. You, you, you really want this, but it's going to take all your strength to get this done. So that's all I have for you guys. If this resonates, please leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I hope you have a wonderful week.